Come on, somebody. A man that has been changed. Because his son will be training here in spring for a shot at the Olympics. My God, y'all better help me up in here. You see, accomplishments are never ending. So restoration comes in big sizes. We don't really know what God is up to. We are just called to serve and let God be God. Give God glory in the house. This is why we do this. Because God is at work. We don't know just because we want him to recover. But there's more to recovery. There is more to what God is doing in these men's life. Look at brothers, uh, his testimony. He hadn't seen his daughter in 10 years. He flew to Washington and go skateboarding in the mountains. My God. See, there are things that God is doing. He's moving. But we just see, we get so used to just... Right there in the water, right, 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 you don't get 
Okay, Maria just got here. Open up your heart and give. Brother Victor and Sister Irene, I've known them since, like he said, we were over at the warehouse. And they've never asked for an offering. <laughs> Hey, don't tell me no words. Do you want a spanking? And saved and delivered. Stop it. No throwing rocks. I like no, because y'all going to hit somebody. You know why? Because y'all are tossing rocks. I like how she's video recording. Because y'all are throwing rocks and y'all hit me. Come on, the hammock's upside down. Come on, the hammock's upside down. If he would be willing to let him live with him here in Spring, Texas. This young man is 18 years old and needing guidance of a real, true, godly father. Amen. Come on, somebody. A man that has been changed because his son will be training here in spring for a shot at the Olympics. My God, y'all better help me out there. You see, accomplishments are never ending. So restoration comes in big sizes. We don't really know what God is up to. We are just called to serve and let God be God. Give God glory in the house. This is why we do this. Because God is at work. We don't know just because we want Him to recover. But there's more to recovery. There is more to what God is doing in these men's life. Look at brothers, uh, his testimony. He hadn't seen his daughter in 10 years. He flew to Washington and go skateboarding in the mountains. My God. See, there are things that God is doing. He's moving. But we just see, we get so used to just seeing what we see in front of us. Just like this home. When I first came in here, man, look at this home. Look at the look at the yard. Look at the ground that we stand on. This is what God is doing. He's doing it through the contributions. He's doing it by the support. So I ask you, and I can't leave my beautiful wife out of this. Amen. Because for almost two years, she made sure all bills were paid. She made sure everything that the men asked for, they have received it. I don't think there's one thing that a man has asked that has not received it. Not one. And so I thank her because, you know, I, you know, when I was in my mess, you know, I, you know, I mean, come on, can I keep it real tonight? Amen. I'm going to keep it real tonight. Amen. You know, she was too holy when I was in my mess. Amen. And so I used to tell her, you know, you acting like Mother Teresa now. Amen. You know, it, it, you know what? I should have never said that because she started swinging like Mike Tyson. Boy. I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was moving and ducking, boy. Hey, my God. And you know what? That was the last time I told her, too. That she, yeah, my God. But, you know, now they tell her, what can I call you? You know, Mother, you know, Irene. Or, you know, I always say, don't you dare call her Mother Teresa now. But you're going to get whooped, amen. My God. Somebody better help me up in here. But I thank her because, you know, we lose a lot of time, you know, with our children. You know, we miss dinners at night.